Hi, in this video you will learn how to edit chart placeholders in our graph templates. First let us take a quick look at the various chart placeholders available here in the pack. As you can see here, the chart is set inside a smartphone. This chart can be used for any of your presentations related to communication, message, etc. Now let me show you how exactly to edit the numbers here. First you click on the chart. As soon as you click on the chart, you get this bounding box. Now you are going to right click on that and go to edit data option. You have two options here. One is edit data and the other one is edit data in Excel 2013. I am going to go with the simple option called edit data. You will find this option no matter which version of PowerPoint you are using. So let me click on edit data and as soon as I do that a worksheet opens up here. Now whatever changes I make in this worksheet reflects on this chart as well. As you might have seen this chart shows target versus performance comparison. Now take a look at the figures for Jan. The target for the month of Jan is 28 and the performance is 26. Now let us say instead of 28 I want to have the target figure as say 35 and the performance as say 32. Now as you can see here the numbers have reworked automatically. Now when I close this worksheet my chart is done. It is that easy to edit graphs in our graph templates. Now let me go to the next template. This template shows sales performance for each month and cumulative sales year to date. Now let us see how to edit the values here. Now I am going to click on this, right click, edit data and go once again to edit data and let us say in the month of Jan the sale that I have written here is 24,000. So instead of 24,000 let us say uh, the sales has only been 15,000. Now as you can see here the number has been reduced from 24 to 15,000 and as a result of which the cumulative sales year to date has also got reworked. Now let me do that once more so you understand how the whole thing gets impacted. Let us say in the month of May the sales has been really low. The sales actually is around 25,480. Now let me really increase it to say around 55 and see what kind of impact it has on this cumulative sales year to date option. So I am going to change this to 50,000 and as soon as I click outside you can see that the 50,000 reflects here and the graph got recalculated. Now when I close this my graph is done. It is that simple to edit. Now let me go to another template and show how the change can be done here. Right click, edit data and as soon as I get that I get the worksheet. Now instead of the 65 let us make it as 40 and I press outside and you can see the change automatically reflected. Everything is recalculated. Now I am going to close this and as you can see here the chart is done. Now I go to this one, it works exactly the same way. Now this one works exactly the same way. Now as you can see here, all these data labels are automatically populated. So if I were to right click, go to edit data and if I were to change this number for October from 29 to say 15, it automatically gets changed to 15 and the data label is automatically updated. So every element that you want is already taken care of in these kind of templates. So these kind of chart placeholder templates make your presentations come to life. Finally before we close this video let me change some of the values here in this 3D chart. So I am going to right click, go to edit and instead of 4.4 which is shown here, I am going to change the series to uh, say 3.5 and as you can see here the change is reflected. The data label is already there and the columns are also readjusted. So that is how you edit our chart placeholder templates in PowerPoint. So that is how you work with our chart placeholder templates. 
In the next video, I'll show you how to edit another type of chart templates. See you in the next video.